Your baby mother chased the car, nigga, straight up and down because you left your little brother at home in a onesie, nigga, with a rubber ducky, nigga. You need to tighten up, nigga, straight up, nigga. So you need to go ahead on and get your face right, nigga. Straight up and down, nigga, and then let's go on get it in like this now. We want to talk about NBA Youngboy recent picture, man. And we really want to talk about some things concerning his health since everybody want to talk about how big he got, how he cut up, and how he doing this and that. First of all is when you're up on house arrest, you already know it's two things you got time to do. You know what I mean? And that's, you know, smoke a bogey, and that's the workout. You see what I'm saying? And this is what I want to talk about because he's doing both, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Now, the outside health ain't the only thing you got to worry about when you're dealing with health, nigga. You got to worry about the inside as well. You can't be smoking all these bogeys and then working out as well, you know? Now, that don't go together, but people do it. Now, I'm not telling this man what to do because he making more progress than a lot of these niggas because they not even working out. And it's clear that he already had the physique of he didn't have to do too much to go out and get cut up. Some people just have physiques like that. Some, for others, it takes time for them to actually get their body cut, you know. So at the end of the day, he's just maturing and, you know, he's growing and that's what's happening, you know what I mean? People are not going to stay the same frame um, young boy as he was when he was 16, man. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he a grown man now. So this is what everybody got to understand when we talk about, you know, him working out and things like that. I just think that he need to drop the bogeys and stop, you know, stressing so much. You know, I think he got a lot on his plate. He got a lot of kids. He got a lot of baby mamas that's in his head and in his hair because it's like he can't get no rest from certain ones. You know what I mean? Because you'll never know what's going on behind the scenes. And then he got his own family issues. He got his own demons he dealing with. So this leads to a lot of... You know what I mean? Bogey smoke. You know what I mean? Smoking them bogeys. And then he want to, you know what I mean, work out behind that. You see what I mean? Because he got time on his hands. Then he eating on top of that, you know? So at the end of the day, he got to work it off. I mean, these are just probably vessels of things that he do just to, you know what I mean, as a vessel, I meant rather, to do it through pain. You know what I'm saying? That through the mental state that he going through because it is stressful being on house arrest and having all the millions and can't move around how you want to, you know? So at the end of the day, he probably used these things as ve um, vessels to, you know, get over it. But at the same time, I just felt like, you know, I had to do a video on this one and I just felt like that I had to speak on that aspect of it because that ain't cool thing about it, you know? You good when you lift weights, you know, but then you start going off to another place when you start smoking them bogeys, you know what I mean, with trying to get your physical right, you know, because you don't want that inside the mix. That's all I'm saying. So, I mean, y'all free to do whatever you want to. We ain't here to judge, but that's what I feel. So salute the whole hundred mob.